All right, everyone. Um, while you're joining the call and setting up your audio, we'll just allow for uh, another five minutes um, for everyone else to join and for you to iron out um, any kind of audio issues that you might have. So uh, in five minutes, we'll begin the presentation. For those that have just joined, um, we will be commencing the webinar in approximately two to three minutes. Uh, so by all means, grab your beverage of choice and come back. Um, we'll start at uh, five past the hour. Thank you. All right, uh, thank you for everyone that's joined. Um, I guess we can commence the uh, webinar now. So, um, good everyone, thanks for joining the call. 
this is uh, Ilya Trigobenko speaking. Um, I'll be delivering the webinar today. Uh, also on the call is Ari Collette, who manages the uh, channel for parallels uh, across Australia, New Zealand, and Southeast Asia. Uh, both of us can be reached through the PSB at parallels.com email address. Uh, feel free to connect with us on LinkedIn as well. It's always great to put a, uh, I guess, a face to the name. Now, uh, the chat uh, is open, so feel free to ask questions as we go along. Um, Ari should be able to address those questions in real time. Uh, if not, we will have a little Q&A session at the end of this presentation. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look at the Parallel Service Provider Program. All right, on the agenda, um, we'll go through a bit background on Parallels, uh, our products and our services. Uh, we'll have a look at the trends in digital workspaces, VDI and desktop as a service, um, the market opportunities, some of the inhibitors which you may run into and how we uh, can help you address them. Uh, we'll also uh, take, a, take, take the time to have a look at the uh, product itself, uh, some of the key use cases and features. Um, and then we'll look at how um, our program uh, is designed to help you take advantage uh, of the market opportunity. And we'll, we've also set some time aside for Q&A at the end. All right, so um, on Parallels, so uh, Parallels as a company it was founded in 2006. Uh, we've got a global presence in over 140 countries, over 5,000 channel partners uh, work with us um, pretty much on a daily basis. Um, we are present uh, and we penetrate into about a fifth of all the Fortune 500 companies. Uh, about 7 million individuals um, are using our products, uh, but also uh, our enterprise grade products are used by over 50,000 um, organizations across the globe. So the pervasiveness of our, product is, of our products uh, are due to their quality and the levels of support which we provide. Um, specifically on Parallels Remote Application Server, uh, this product, the, the solution, has been around since 2005, so roughly about 15, 16 years. Uh, initially, when it was launched, it was called uh, 2X. Um, and 2X was acquired by Parallels in 2015. So for um, over five years, uh, Parallels Remote Application Server has been one of the flagship products um, in our stable of solutions. So let's have a look at our um, solution portfolio. So this is a snapshot um, of it in a Helix format. Um, let's go through these uh, from left to right. So Parallels Desktop for Mac, uh, this is the easiest and fastest um, a most powerful solution for running Windows on a Mac without rebooting. Uh, recently, we've also added Parallels Desktop for Chromebook uh, Enterprise, which allows for delivery of full featured Windows applications on Chromebook devices. This particular product was called out as one of the top three tech innovations uh, for 2020 by ZDNet. We also have Parallels Mac Management for Microsoft SCCM. Uh, and that's a plugin um, which allows admins to, uh, I guess, manage Macs uh, as if they were PCs through uh, the SCCM console. Um, obviously, parallel to remote application server, uh, which is a cost-effective all-in-one solution to simply and securely deploy virtual desktops and applications to any device, uh, reducing the total cost of ownership while improving ease of use, productivity, and user satisfaction. So Parallels RAS is the current top rated solution in the virtual desktop infrastructure category on Trustradius, and that's rated by uh, verified um, IT professionals who use the, um, who use the solution. Uh, the other two products, I'll just um, touch on them briefly. Uh, when you purchase uh, Parallels Desktop for Mac, um, you also receive uh, a subscription to Toolbox and Access, and they form part of the service. So those two can, be, um, can also be purchased separately from the website. Um, briefly, Toolbox for Windows and Mac provides a set of powerful tools that simplify everyday computing uh, tasks in just one click. And Parallels Access is the fastest, easiest, and most reliable remote access to your Windows or Mac or desktop. So 
uh, this is um, closer to remote PC. All right. So keep going. Okay. So as you know, uh, the parallel service provider program is wrapped around our remote application server technology. This program is specifically designed to enable our partners to win more business and do it profitably as more and more connections shift to the cloud. So let's have a look at these trends in digital workspaces, VDI and desktop as a service. So growing data privacy concerns and the necessity to ensure data security are the key factors driving the growth of the desktop virtualization market across the globe. The global desktop virtualization market, which is combined of hosted and on-prem segments is expected to reach uh, roughly 15 billion US dollars by 2024, having grown from about 7 billion US dollars in 2016. So this represents a compound annual growth rate of just over 11%. Now, please note, this is a combination of both hosted and on-prem sub-segments. Uh, so the software enabling hosted desktop as a service or DAS segment of the market will have a five-year compound annual growth rate of 32%, whereas the on-prem virtual client computing segment of the software market will have a five-year compound annual growth rate of just under 3%. So why that's key is that the forecast um, says that the hosted segment compared to the on-prem segment is projected to grow roughly at a rate of 10 to 1. So the primary drivers for this are mainly focused around streamlining costs and improved security. So a recent report surveying 354 IT professionals from uh, US and Canada responsible for or involved in the purchase process for productivity applications and endpoint devices, including virtual desktop infrastructure and desktop as a service, uh, have called out that um, they plan to have, uh, I guess, expansive growth in their VDI. Uh, they've called out that security is a, uh, a, a big concern for them. Um, and also two, two out of three respondents identify either IT efficiency or security and compliance as the most critical investment justification metrics when it comes to getting VDI or DAS projects funded. But also a majority of these respondents, and these are, I guess, the potential customers for us, um, of current VDI users leverage hyper-converged infrastructure to support their implementation. So this suggests that organizations uh, who want to focus on VDI end user experience as opposed to managing and maintaining the underlying data um, set of infrastructure. So that's calling out multi-cloud, which um, I will uh, expand on in the next few slides. Okay. So the goals and benefits of applications as a service and desktop as a service. I'll unpack these from uh, top to bottom. So increasing productivity. New employees become productive quicker when they use a familiar device. So that's calling out that BYOD and you know, CYOD use cases. Uh, increased responsiveness by workers being able to access uh, their work anywhere at your time. Um, faster onboarding of employees, um, improved employee satisfaction, all these lead to uh, an increase in productivity. For uh, improved service delivery, that covers business continuity. So if employees cannot work um, in the office because of weather conditions, pandemic or disasters, they can work from anywhere by using a personal device. Also scalability. With a hosted solution, you can scale up or down. So this means that you never pay for more than you use and the risks and expenditure associated with growth um, are reduced or eliminated. Now, um, obviously lowering cost is a big one uh, for devices and management. If you can securely allow that, bring your own device or choose your own device, um, use case, uh, you, you'll be able to lower cost. The ability for you to repurpose um, all the endpoints, um, you know, leveraging thin clients, uh, desktop as a service and obviously application as a service eliminates the need for businesses to manage the back end responsibilities such as data, storage, backup, security and upgrades. And general cost savings from moving to the cloud, um, moving to a hosted solution makes it possible for businesses to avoid the expenses associated with physical uh, servers instead only paying for what they use. So companies that choose a hosted solution enjoy improved cash flow and better budgeting. For some companies, it may mean not having to rewrite critical applications into web apps, for example. 
Um, hosted desktop solutions also significantly reduce energy use and carbon emissions, making them more environmentally friendly than traditional desktop solutions. And I always encourage partners to uh, include, their, in their, include this uh, in their business cases and proposals. Uh, on mitigating risk, um, agility and disaster recovery. So there's a great deal of flexibility attached to accessing business critical data in a desktop as a service powered cloud service. So data can be accessed quickly and reliably. This also means that as the data structure needs to shift or geographical needs arise, the changes to data are incredibly easy to implement. Lastly, improved data quality. So this is largely due to the fact that the bulk of the data access is primarily controlled through the data service itself. Uh, this adds a robust layer of security and improved uh, data quality. Now, um, our program is designed to help you unlock and deliver high value margin rich products by providing you with a user friendly, secure and cost effective tool in Parallels from our application server. So we're basically looking to hit all the spots that make it high value, simple, secure and cost effective. Now, these are some of the inhibitors which you should be made aware of. Uh, so these are interlinked and could be in the form of you know, reduced IT budget, um, security concerns um, with regards to moving to the cloud, uh, maybe legacy applications, you know, having to rewrite code to make them um, web friendly, or, or maybe poor user, poor user experience. So you need to be able to, re to be reasonably accurate in your cost um, infrastructure uh, assumptions and select the most appropriate cloud provider. The good news is that we enable you to do just that. Uh, our remote application server technology is a cloud agnostic product, which gives you the ability to choose from a range of public or private cloud providers or a mix. Uh, we also have an, uh, an ROI calculator on a partner portal and uh, white papers, uh, which should help you um, with that. Uh, there are obvious security and privacy concerns, which should and can be addressed through a range of uh, security measures. Uh, existing applications may not be built for you know, SaaS delivery. How do you go to market with that? How long does it take to rectify? And what investment is required? And usually that investment is, uh, is pretty large. So uh, we help uh, organizations sort of side sidestep that in the, uh, investment. So what we have developed as a solution set is predicated around a concept or term called virtual client computing, allowing you to deploy your solution set across any device and gain access to it securely, no matter how the infrastructure is deployed. We don't care if it's on-prem, your own data sender, uh, center, or a public cloud provider like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, et cetera. You know, we obviously support a hybrid cloud combination as well. Um, what you choose is completely up to you. Uh, it is important for me to highlight that from a cost perspective, when you leverage our solution set, you're getting all of these features as a single license cost charged monthly in arrears. It includes web access on any device that is very secure. The protocols which we use are tried, true, and tested within the IT infrastructure space. Um, so from a licensing cost perspective, it's all about driving that total cost of ownership. And uh, I'll go into detail around that in the next few slides. So here is um, how this all helps you as service providers. So we can extend that value to, we can help you extend that value to your customers. Uh, a simplified solution set, which is easy and quick to deploy, manage and maintain. Uh, we also think that we've done a very good job at developing the user interface, which um, you're using uh, the client or clientless versions of our solution um, and customize it, customize it particularly in the handheld device space. So Parallels RAS has native hand gestures as an example to mimic and drive the same sort of users and productivity that you would get out of a fully fledged desktop. So the user experience, if you're mobilizing the application and it's being used on a handheld device is particularly impressive. So this is very helpful for independent software vendors, uh, but can also be extended to customers such as workers uh, in the medical fields, for example. Uh, the product is easy or the solution is easy to deploy, configure and maintain. Uh, the product boasts multi-tenancy features which allow multiple customers to share, uh, to share the same infrastructure. This in turn allows you to further drive down costs, especially when you couple it 
with, uh, with some of the other features. So you'll most likely find that this out as you're building your models. Um, but what we see uh, is that there is an increased monthly recurring revenue stream that gets added on as you're providing this as a service. We think we've built what we call a win-win business model. It's very simple, low barriers to entry, very easy to get into. Um, there are no upfront costs or prepayments on the licensing and will support you 24-7 as long as you're part of the program. So uh, here is the value for you as a service provider um, or independent software vendor or, or even reseller. It's a very simple way to deploy the solution set. If you're coming from a Citrix or VMware background, one of the things that I hear very often is, you know, have I missed anything? Do I need to do anything else? And typically the answer is no. Um, it's just that intuitive. Um, we have quite a few independent software vendors um, that leverage our solution. Uh, many of these have challenges um, uh, in, or, or had challenges in deploying a software as a service model. So we provide the tools and the delivery mechanisms that allow them to deploy software as a service without having to rewrite the code. That's very important because rewriting that code can be lengthy, um, is very expensive, and it's not always going to um, end up how you envision it. Uh, so the values are here. It's a very profitable solution set for service providers. It's very easy to see quickly the value that it brings. Uh, it helps you particularly in situations where we are today to deploy quickly, scale up or down, and just as importantly, to pay as you go. All right, so in Parallels Remote Applications Server, we have a product that is easy to use and cost effective. We feel that together with our Parallel Service Provider Program, what we have uh, in place is a, a framework to succeed have a look through uh, this framework. So the high value solution that's easy to use, manage and maintain. Uh, Parallels RAP is an all-in-one, uh, which means that you can add services as you go at no extra cost. Uh, it's simple to deploy so that you can spin up new customers within hours. It's, uh, the simple management means that there's no ex expensive IT resources required to manage multiple customers. Um, so think all that adds to your bottom line. Uh, the cost-effective licensing model and simplified um, billing management. Um, our SPLA billing model um, allows you to lower costs by paying for actual usage as an automated and simple billing management system, which I'll go through in, in a little bit more detail later. And obviously the single SPLA key for all deployments really simplifies um, client management on your end. And all this uh, is wrapped up with a comprehensive 24-7 partner support program uh, I've got to sound like a broken record, but there's no fee, again, and no upfront cost. Um, there's no barriers really to entry. Uh, by far the lowest per user cost without sacrificing value, which increases profit and improves competitive position. We provide the resources you need to build and deliver highly profitable solutions. So all in all, Parallels RAS is a high value solution that's easy to use, manage, and maintain. So this is a bit of a busy slide, but let's go through it one by one. So we've cultivated um, parallel to remote application server and tailored development towards service providers such as yourselves. So whether you're publishing applications, desktops, or VDI, we provide that on any device, multi-tenanted, load balanced, um, all included as part of the solution set, as well as the uh, reporting capabilities on the back end. Um, reporting, meaning that you can sub-license your key. So if you want to break out your sessions um, by customer or by farm, you can do so. And what's the benefit in doing so? Well, the benefit of a sub-license key is that you can establish the thresholds by which a customer has access to the system and limit the number of users uh, which that customer can have accessing the environment. So in this current remote working environment, we've had partners increase their connection counts overnight and almost exponentially. Um, that's a simple conversation that you can have with your customer and simply adjust their license key. The point here is that nothing happens without you taking control um, of that. So that if you have the mechanism in place with your customer to bill and negotiate terms um, prior to it happening. So as you look uh, at our solution set relative to what you're using today, uh, we believe and uh, what we've seen time and time again is that we create uh, an unbeatable 
total cost of ownership proposition to you uh, as the partner. All right, and here's the other thing. Uh, for us, it doesn't matter how you deploy this. Uh, the single license key enables you to deploy it at a customer site in the cloud um, or a combination of the two. Uh, we are not only cloud agnostic, but also hypervisor agnostic, giving uh, you as the partner even greater flexibility. Oh, and uh, by the way, we can also be deployed in hyperconverged environments. Uh, we are certified to run on and integrate with a number of vendors, such as Nutanix, Scale, VMware, uh, and others. So these are some of the key uh, benefits of uh, Parallels Remote Application Server. So obviously superior user experience on any device, anywhere. We are pretty much, um, Pretty much, this is this is probably the main thing I hear from uh, from end users that they're blown away by the experience. Um, obviously, the, the ease uh, of deployment, so it's easy to deploy, configure, and maintain. Uh, Parallel to RAF streamlines the deployment and maintenance of VDI and RDSH infrastructures by providing a set of tools directly available from the central console, such as configuration with wizards multi-tenancy management, auto-provisioning, auto-scaling, automation, and more. Everything is done through the one console. You don't need to alt-tab through different windows. We've seen enhances, um, enhanced data security. So secure data by centrally controlling and monitoring user access. Uh, deploying parallels routes reduces the risk of data loss and malicious activity. Uh, it prevents access to applications and data based on location device and configurable client policies. So Parallels Remote Application Server supports HIPS 140-2 encryption and multi-factor authentication. In fact, uh, our largest customer in the APAC region is a, uh, a very sizable bank in Japan called the Kinshin Kawaguchi Bank. The case study is available on our website if you, um, if you are interested. Uh, On-demand IT agility. So it allows um, you to quickly adapt to business needs by automatically scaling your infrastructure, uh, enables the mixing of um, and matching of different technologies such as Windows Server operating systems, hypervisors, um, hyperconverged solution. Um, it also gives you a, that central management for multi-cloud deployments, and that's usually um, one of the key um, selling points for people moving from your typical vanilla RDS solutions. And lastly, but um, but mainly <laughs> a reduction in the total cost of ownership. So that's that cost and com complexity. We peel that away. Uh, Parallels Remote Application Server is an all-in-one out-of-the-box solution, uh, saving resources, um, reducing the hardware footprint and lowering overhead costs. So one single licensing model incorporates all of the product's comprehensive features with a very fast learning curve for admins. Now, uh, so Parallels RAS enables employees to access their digital workspaces securely from anywhere, anytime, facilitating greater mobility uh, by delivering applications and virtual desktops and thus fueling productivity. So that's the proposition um, for, the, uh, for, for the customer. Here are some of the, um, some of the use cases for Parallels RAS. Uh, so enabling the remote working on mobile devices uh, is a big one. Uh, access um, desktops, applications, and data from any device, anywhere, provide an intuitive and consistent user experience on any device, helping employees work efficiently um, using native gestures and commands that they already know. Um, work with Windows apps um, on Chromebook, so that, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, remote, um, so work remotely with enhanced security, uh, so enable secure access to sensitive data from personal smartphones and tablets, uh, adhere to data policy compliance such as PCI DSS uh, by uh, efficiently restricting and monitoring access to sensitive data. Work from home with a remote PC, so uh, the ability to convert any Windows workstation, physical or virtual, to a remote PC without any additional hardware or licensing requirements. And lastly, to work remotely with your personal devices. Um, we support the use of mouse and keyboard integration for those who want to work from their smartphones and tablets. Right, now, um, just so you know, we release a major, um, I guess, major updates to the product once a year. 
So uh, the previous major update was released uh, in December. So the current version of the product um, actually extends VDI capabilities by seamless integration with Windows Virtual Desktop. So here are some of the use cases which you, um, you might be interested in under a Microsoft WVD. So Windows Virtual Desktop as a service, that solution, um, access and manage all Windows Virtual Desktop and Parallels RAS workloads from a centralized console. So a unified solution optimized for Windows 10 and Office 365. Uh, Windows 10 Enterprise Multi-Session, <coughs> Parallels RAS and WVD deliver a familiar Windows 10 experience to users while benefiting from the cost advantages of multi-session using existing per user Windows licensing instead of RDS CALs. Uh, extend, extended Windows 7 security updates, so organizations can continue to securely run their Windows 7 applications beyond uh, January 2020 by migrating their workloads to WVD. Um, hybrid and multi-cloud deployment, so organizations can build flexible infrastructure, mixing and matching RDSH, Windows Virtual Desktop, VDI, um, hypervisors, hyperconverged systems, and any uh, cloud solution. Uh, and this, this allows them to, I guess, stagger their migration um, and, and sort of make it more, I guess, sure. Um, specialized workloads and legacy apps. So access specialized workloads such as design and engineering, legacy apps and software, development tests, um, Parallels RAS enables businesses to continue delivering Windows Server 2008 applications for a smoother transition. All right, so let's have a look at some of the, um, I guess, of the features that uh, enhance business mobility. So bi-directional audio, uh, IT admins can enable um, redirection of sound input and output from the local device to the remote application, um, allowing, you know, you can use a local headset even for server-based applications. Uh, we've got a quick key keypad, which is very useful um, specifically for delivering applications to uh, mobile devices. Uh, it allows the admin to define custom keys to replace repetitive keystroke sequences. So custom keys can be tapped just like any other key on iOS and Android's virtual keyboards. Accelerated file retrieval is a new feature. Uh, it allows you to quickly retrieve and enumerate local files and folders when using drive redirection. So in reality, this achieves an over 90% increase in speed and stability over poor networks compared with standard RDP. Uh, native gestures, um, which I've touched on before, uh, extended drag and drop functionality. Uh, this isn't new, but used quite, um, quite regularly. So users can drag and drop files from the server to the client and vice versa. Um, drag files from published resources, application, um, and desktops to local Windows and Mac OS workstations. Uh, the AI-based session pre-launch, which is actually a machine learning component that's been um, a part of the product for probably the last two versions, um, and it continues to be developed. Uh, and what, what that does is um, it, it analyzes uh, user login habits to pre-launch sessions, significantly reducing login time while distributing the back-end workload to prevent log-on storms during peak hours. Uh, multitasking is a new feature which uh, allows users to switch between multiple open files on demand, um, use apps simultaneously with iPad multitasking features such as slide over, split view um, on the Parallels RAS iOS client. We also support uh, Samsung um, DeX as well. Um, so Bluetooth mouse and trackpad support, also self-explanatory, uh, universal printing and scanning um, that's been you know, a sort of a core, uh, a core feature of the product for years. And, and um, lastly, I'll just call out the single sign-on SSO, um, which is, I guess, also pretty self-explanatory there. Um, let's just keep moving. Okay, enhanced data security. So I'm going to go through these one by one. Now, um, on improving, secu um, improving security through data centralization, uh, so with virtualized desktop, the actual data rests in the data centers or remote servers, uh, eliminating the loss of data on local machines. So because this data is centralized, it is easier to detect and isolate viruses or threats before they cause damage. So further, the virtual machine has no contact 
with the machine's operating system. So there is little possibility of a program damaging other files or applications. Also, because the data is centralized um, and virtual machines are behind strong firewalls, the company's IT team can manage usage and reduce potential risks. This centralized control can better enable application activity and monitoring. So um, monitor, control, and restrict data access. So that's, um, that refers to granular filtering rules that can be created to restrict users' access to the farm, adding another layer of data protection. So IT staff can define several filtering rules to decide who can access a published resource based on user IP, um, on user, sorry, IP address, um, MAC address, and gateway. Um, enforce client policies to any device. Um, so a client policy is a set of rules defined by the administrator to manage, control, and restrict the settings options available to the users. Um, manage Windows client and kiosk client. Uh, this is a good one. Um, allows you to essentially lock down um, the endpoint. Uh, administrators, administrators can convert Windows devices running Windows uh, 7 through to 10 into a secure kiosk-like mode without replacing the operating system. And this kiosk mode um, limits users from changing system settings or installing new applications, uh, providing the admin with a higher level of control over connected devices. Uh, encryption protocols, um, I think I've called these out uh, in the past, but um, I'll do it again. So uh, RAS Secure Client Gateway encrypts with SSL or FIPS 140-2 protocol the user's connections to the farm, helping organizations adhere to data compliance policies such as PCI DSS, HIPAA, and I guess GDPR. Um, now, multi-factor authentication and smart card authentication. This is the second level authentication, which can be provided by Azure MFA, Duo, 40, Authenticator, Tech Radius, Radius, DeepNet, Google Auth, Microsoft Auth, um, and so, or a SafeNet server. Okay. So, referring, uh, let's have a look at IT agility and business readiness. So Parallels Remote Application Server allows you to mix and match different um, operating systems and technologies. So we support um, currently Windows Server uh, Operating System 2008 R2 and above, all the way to 2019. Um, VMware ESXi, Nutanix Acropolis, Scale Computing, um, HC3 and more. We're obviously multi-cloud ready. Um, you can mix and match your, um, your cloud providers with us as well. Uh, business continuity and high availability um, allows you to enable uninterrupted and continuous access with built-in load balancing capabilities. Parallels Remote Application Server supports full active-active redundancies. One-stop solution for RDS, VDI, and Windows Virtual Desktop. So the solution allows organizations to manage Microsoft RDS, VDI, and WVD desktop environments in the same infrastructure, streamlining IT operations, total cost of ownership, and complexity. And obviously, uh, as I mentioned before, we are absolutely um, hypervisor agnostic. Okay. So we're easy to deploy, configure, and maintain. And uh, how do we do that? Well, client auto configuration uh, allows you to quickly enroll new users to access published applications and desktops with a single click on the auto config link. Centralized management console, every, all the daily tasks you can perform through that single pane of glass. You can deploy servers, publish applications, monitor resources, manage devices, even offer help desk assistance, um, and define uh, security policies. And this is all from the one console. Uh, Multi-tenancy. Um, Self-explanatory uh, REST and PowerShell APIs uh, you know, enable the automation of complex and repetitive tasks using REST API and or PowerShell commandlet, um, allow easier integration with scheduling and workflow applications into the parallel remote application server ecosystem. A wizard-based deployment allows you to effortlessly publish and manage a wide range of applications and desktops with an intuitive publishing wizard. This really saves you a lot of time and, and errors. Uh, automatically generate and deploy configurable RAS templates for VDI and RDSH. And lastly, auto provisioning and auto scaling um, allows you to maintain high and consistent templates or images 
for virtual applications and desktops by monitoring and scaling on-demand computing resources. Parallels Remote Application Server can dynamically create, remove, release, and load balance. Windows operating system based on predefined criteria, ensuring sudden load spikes are easily managed without any manual action needed on your end. And uh, the reduction of the total cost of ownership. So how do we help you reduce that TCO? Well, we do that through an all-inclusive uh, single licensing model that, um, that enables all of the capabilities out of the box, uh, providing enterprise range features such as gateways, load balancing, but also 24-7 customer support. It's also included in that licensing model. Uh, we, we allow you to reduce the complexity uh, in the deployment, which also drives that TCO. Um, there's a fast learning curve. So Parallels Remote Application Server is an easy to use solution that requires minimal knowledge to configure and manage the infrastructure, reducing the learning curve. Moreover, full training on Parallels Remote Application Server is provided absolutely free of charge. There are no expensive add-ons either. So, um, the solution is a full-featured modular cost-effective application delivery and VDI uh, product. It does not require third-party add-ons for load balancing, printing redirection, monitoring, reporting, and more. We also leverage the uh, concurrent user model, um, which means that users can establish any number of connections to parallel remote application server as long as the number of users simultaneously accessing Parallels RAS does not exceed the number of available licenses, and that makes it easy for you to have that conversation with the customer because you don't have to talk to them about um, user or device licenses at all. Our service provider license agreement um, also helps to um, drive down those costs. Uh, it's licensed per peak number of concurrent users over a billing period. The data is automatically collected on a daily basis from each farm and is used to calculate the licensing cost at the end of a billing cycle. So we actually charge you monthly in arrears. Uh, we also allow you to manage the sub-licensing, which I think I've touched on before. Um, what that means is that just allows you to sort of manage uh, multiple independent keys while retaining a centralized, the, the centralized consumption information. Now, it's a fairly busy slide with the core capabilities. I think I've touched on um, most of these uh, in the previous slide, so to save time, let's dive into the commercial aspect of the solution, right, which is namely our cost-effective licensing model and simplified billing management. So just to be clear, we issue a single SPLA license key, and that is your key for production. You can also get uh, a not-for-resale key, which you can use for testing purposes. So, um, now, we, uh, on top of the NFR license key, we could also uh, provide you separate trial keys if you're working on sort of resale opportunities as well. Uh, for production, we allow you to develop a multitude of different farms all serviced in this instance under a, under a single license key. So that's what this slide um, shows. The single license key can be any kind of deployment, uh, you know, on-prem, et cetera. The same key or instances can be used. The total count um, gets aggregated. Uh, the peak uh, is aggregated here in red. Um, CU means concurrent users. So we do based on the peak number of concurrent users, um, which is aggregated monthly in arrears. Um, we, would take, we would simply take that usage and multiply it by the appropriate rate. Um, so uh, to define that further, so if one day you had 50 connections another day, you had 60 connections another day, you had 70 connections, and, and then throughout the month you always had 40 connections, we would just charge you on the 70 connections at the end of the month, which was the peak. Now, we also provide you with a, with a management portal. Uh, so this is separate to our partner portal. The management portal is very helpful for mid to large partners who have large multitudes of customers that they need to break out the billing for. It's a way of giving you another window into the utilization from a consumer usage perspective. So this information is also available via the admin console. Now, let's have a look at the 
uh, SPLA uh, pricing model. So what you see here is the MSRP for both um, US dollars and AUD. I'll get the US dollars on there first. Uh, as you can see, the rate decreases based on volume. Um, you know, being a MSRP, you will, you know, you should expect to get a discount when you transact through one of our local distributors as well. Now, um, throughout the region, we transact mostly in US dollars unless you are um, you're transacting through one of our Australian um, distributors. And in that instance, um, we are able to transact in uh, Aussie dollars. Okay, so with the commercials out of the way, let's look at our comprehensive partner program and support. All right, so the parallel service provider program enables service providers of all kinds to build a cost-effective um, uh, service or SaaS cloud and mobile offering for legacy applications. Uh, also allows you to deliver desktop as a service, uh, workspace solutions or provide managed delivery service. Uh, I need to underscore this, that there are no upfront fees or costs to join. Uh, the only requirements that we uh, have, and this is what we ask of you, is that you uh, apply via our website and have your application uh, be approved um, by ARI. Um, you should also have a current membership in uh, Microsoft SPLA or CSP program. This is to enable you to, I guess, procure the required Microsoft licensing. You also need to achieve and maintain two Parallels RAS technical certifications. Um, these are free to do. Um, they're quite straightforward. All of the training is available online. All of the materials are um, available online. We have a, um, we have a, a, I guess a standard technical certification which covers deployment and we also have an advanced technical certification which covers things like uh, Microsoft um, with those virtual desktops, uh, how, to, how to deploy SAML and so on. Um, now, um, you'll also be required to uh, complete an annual partner profile within the partner portal as well. So these are the only requirements uh, that we have to join this program. So let's, um, let's just summarize uh, the benefits of the program. So you will be, or you are provided with a dedicated channel account manager uh, in this case, uh, it's either Ari uh, or myself, depending on where, where you reside. Um, you will obviously the scalable solution that enables your business to grow as needed, um, provide customized solutions on-prem in the cloud or in hybrid environments. Uh, you get a usage-based SPLA license structure and simple customized usage and billing reports. Uh, we've got a pay-per-use licensing model and no upfront licensing fees. Um, obviously, the free training and certification courses help, um, and, and the not for resale NFR key plus uh, additional um, trial keys should you wish to deploy something on your uh, on a customer prem premise. So, uh, I guess uh, next steps. So uh, here's the email address: psb at uh, We don't have time for a demo today because um, we've got about 10 minutes before we need to wrap up. Uh, I'd like to leave that time for questions, but what I can suggest is, is that if you would like a, uh, a demo, I always ask partners to um, whip something up uh, on their infrastructure. There's, there's free 30-day trials on, you know, uh, on Azure, AWS. Uh, you can do it on your own um, environment. You can spin that up, whatever you like, um, and then we will um, help you, I guess, fine tune that um, and sort of work with you. So you will get access to a, a pre-sales engineer from our end and they'll remote in and assist you. Now, now that we've got a roughly about 10, uh, 10 minutes left, I will uh, open the floor up to questions um, and let Ari um, pick them out. Fantastic, Elia, thank you so much. Um, so if you do have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat window or Q&A, um, and I'll read them out to Ilya so we can address your concerns. Um, so please take your time.
All right, Ilya, it looks like we don't have any questions for today, um, which means you did a fantastic job explaining everything to um, all the attendees. So thank you once again. Um, if you guys do have any questions uh, after the session or after re-watching the recording, uh, you've got the contact email from uh, PSB, uh, from the PSB team. So that will come to Ilya and myself. Um, so don't hesitate to reach out to us. I'll be more than, more than happy to assist you. Oh, actually, we just got a question. Sorry, Ilya. That's okay. Uh, um, <laughs> With, I think there was a spell, um, spelling mistake. With uh, desktop as a service, what do you mean? Uh, what do you mean is desktop application, right? Um, desktop application, right? Uh, desktop as a service that that will be referring to, you know, deli delivering a full fledged desktop as opposed to a uh, a single or multiple apps. Sort of give you a um, an experience as if you you're on your your own um, laptop, essentially. So just Thanks, to um, I, I guess just to expand on that because we do have a little bit of time. Um, so the, the parallel to run application server allows you to either publish um, you know single or set or multiple apps via the client. Or via the, uh, I guess, our um, a clientless uh, browser option. Um, whereas, uh, so that's application publishing, or a desk, uh, which is called application as a service, or a desktop as a service, um, is an additional feature which we also provide to you uh, at no extra cost that allows you to publish fully fledged desktops to your customers, um, as opposed to just you know single or multiple apps in a client. I hope that. Um, that covers it. Thank you, Ilya. Uh, is it work for Mac too? Or can that be used on the Macintosh computer? Uh, yeah, um, you can either leverage our um, <clears throat> our client for Macs, um, or you can um, leverage the clientless version and access it through Safari. And also, in addition to that, that will work for any Apple device. Um, so, if you're using a iPad OS or uh, a iOS device, um, we do have clients for those uh, specific operating systems as well as. Uh, the HTML5 version. All right, so just adding on top of that question, Ellie, if, if they can be hosted on a Mac. Hosted on a Mac. That's a good question. So the only real limitation is that um, the the uh, the source needs to be, um, I guess, a Windows Windows based um, OS. However, uh, if you are really keen on hosting something on your Mac, you need to create a virtual machine that'll run the um, uh, that'll run a Windows Server uh, operating system on it. It's, it's not ideal, um, but possible. And in fact, um, it typically our pre-sales engineer, uh, he actually runs a, um, uh, he, he uses a Mac himself. Uh, and when he demos it, he's demoing it from a virtual machine that's running on his Mac. But I would probably just say that you'd only really, uh, ideally maybe use that for demo purposes. Uh, in production, you, you probably want to have a fully fledged um, Windows OS. Correct. Any more questions? Okay, it looks like those are all the questions, Elliot. So I'll leave it up to you to wrap it up. Thank you. All right.
So thanks for um, for joining the call. Uh, you've got our uh, contact details. Um, you'll also receive a recording of the webinar. Um, and by all means, reach out, uh, LinkedIn, email, uh, whatever's more comfortable for you. And um, hopefully we'll be working with you uh, in the nearest future. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody.